Ha. Uh, bit of a personal rant. Um, last week I got a new, a couple of weeks ago, I guess I was in England, I bought a used phone off a friend of mine, and I came back into Switzerland, and apparently there was a switch open on the phone. And I've got a contract uh, for my old phone, which went kaflui. And the company that I've got the contract with started sending me these really uh, outrageous bills, uh, $270 for extra extra on top of other stuff. And I'm like, I didn't do anything. I didn't I didn't order this. I didn't want this. And so my wife's looking at the bill and said, what are you doing? I said, you know me, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been online with this damn thing. I don't know what's going on. And as things go in our life, uh, there's this thing called synchronicity. She's reading a magazine, and uh, there's an article by an attorney who talks about this company called Sunrise in Switzerland and some of the things that they're doing to their customers. Uh, and they're really taking advantage of their customers and s selling them things that they don't want. And so he said, don't pay this. And here's the procedures. And he said, I called him, and I, and I tried to talk... I talked to five different people, and one of them hung up on me because by the time I got to him, I was a little testy, I must say. But <laughs> I know swearing in Switzerland now. He taught me how to swear when he hung up on me. But So we're not going to pay the bill, and we're not going to do business with them as quick as we can. We're going to try to get out of the con any con our contract. Now, I've been under contract for over two years with this company, and all of a sudden they start these slimy practices of trying to charge me for something that I didn't use and didn't order and didn't want. Right? And this attorney says they are so incompetent that that's what they're trying to do to gather extra money. Like, I, these phone companies need extra money. And that's one of my big things is I'm worried about them. But another company I don't do business with is American Express because uh, quite a few years ago, maybe 15 years ago, I found, found magazine subscriptions and books and uh, things that I had never ordered. And my wife and I were living busy lives. with Two businesses, six kids. We were running fast. And one day she said to me, why do you have Hunting and Fishing magazine? I said, I don't know. I, I don't know where it came from. And so we looked, and American Express had sent them to us. We had won a lottery, and they sent us a gift. But then, after a few months of getting the gift, if you don't rescind the gift, they just add it to your bill. Right? So I called them, and I said, what are you doing? You know, Why are you doing this? Well, you won this lottery. I said, but I don't want this. And they said, well, just send them back. I said, I don't want to send them back. So I'm at a friend of mine's house last summer, and... His wife opens a package. She said, did you order a cookbook? And he said, no. And laughed, because he's not much of a cook. And she said, where'd it come from? And I said, American Express, I'll bet you. Call American Express and ask them why they sent you the phone book, or the cookbook. And she said, nah. I said, honest to God, that's my guess. And she looked at the number. She called. He called. And said, why do I have this cookbook? And they said, oh, it's a gift. And they said, yeah, but I have to pay for it if I don't send it back. And I don't want to pay the postage to send it back. Oh, well, just keep it. He said, no, 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 that's not the point. Why are you doing this? And how often are you doing it? Why are you doing this to me? I've been a client of years for years. Pay attention to your bills. I don't trust a lot of big companies, but American Express have won my non-loyalty support, as has Sunrise. Have a fun weekend. www.micpeakperformance.com